So you got your dual PC set up and you're just happy about it, right? Yes! 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 And now you're thinking, how in the world I'm gonna do all the audio routing between the two PCs? Probably is the most difficult thing to do. This is hard! It is not at all. So I decided I might as well just do one video that is straightforward, simple. Is your boy, I'm just not a technical person, man. I need things to be simple. You know what I mean? You stupid or something. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to route your audio from your streaming PC to your gaming PC. Disclaimer, you have to know that what I'm gonna explain today is based on how I build my own setup. So with my setup, I have Discord, Spotify, and my mic connected to my streaming PC. And everything is being routed from there <coughs> to my gaming. The gaming PC is routing the gaming audio back to streaming PC into OBS. What? So as soon as you understand the logic behind how voice meter works, you can do any setup you want. You can have the Discord on your gaming, you can have the Spotify on your gaming, it doesn't matter. For simplicity, I'm gonna divide this process into three steps. The first part, we will talk about the installation and changing Windows settings. The second part, we will have a quick overview of the software itself. And finally, the most important part, which is the third part, is the routing process itself. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hell yeah. So to start things off, we're gonna have to go to the voice meter website. Uh, I'm gonna have the link in the description box. And what you wanna do is you wanna go to Potato and download this software here. You scroll down, you download the latest version. Now, the reason why I didn't go with Banana or voice meter is simply because with the Potato one, it offers more virtual audio inputs. You have three of them here. While in Banana, you only have two. And in voice meter, you only have one. I'll explain later what those are. Now, there's another thing that you're gonna have to download. And since this tutorial is based on my own setup, I have the virtual audio cable downloaded on my streaming PC simply because I'm running Spotify from there. Now, to be on the safe side, do the same way that I did it. And once you understand the logic of how voice meter works and how to connect both PCs together, you can uninstall it from your streaming PC and add it to your gaming PC if this is where you wanna run your Discord or Spotify, because at the end of the day, we're gonna assign virtual audio cable to Spotify or Discord. So you click on virtual audio cable and you download it for Windows from here or from Mac from here. May I have your attention, please? Once you install the software, you're gonna have to restart your PC. And once you do that, you're gonna lose audio. But don't panic. This <laughs> Calm down, get a hook. And wait till I show you what you need to do once you restart your system, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Worst case scenario, you don't manage to get the audio back, uninstall the software, restart your PC, repeat the process. Every time you see this icon, that means I'm showing you a voice meter on my gaming PC. Every time you see this icon, that means I'm showing you the voice meter on my streaming PC. Once you install the software and restart your system, open up voice meter potato, then go to the speakers icon and the device device that you have here, this will be by default your headset. So you go to A1 and you assign A1 to that device. In my case, it's the speakers, which is the headset that I'm using right now. This part applies on both gaming and streaming PC. Now, the next thing you need to do is on the gaming PC, you go to your sound settings and in the output section, you make sure that you have voice meter input VAIO and in the input section, you need to have voice meter aux output VAIO. This is very important. And another thing that you need to do on your gaming PC is you go to your, again, sound icon sounds. And in playback, if you scroll down, you need to have voice meter input as default device and voice meter aux input as default communication device. You go to your recording tab, voice meter aux output will be your default device. Again, this is on the gaming PC. We're gonna do almost the same thing that we did on the gaming PC. So we go to sounds, playback, and in the playback section here, you need to only put voice meter input as your default device. Then you go to recording. In the recording section, you need your mic only as the default device because you're gonna have your mic connected directly to your streaming PC. So when it comes to voice meter, there are two sections that you kind of need to care about. The first part is right here, which represents all the hardware input that you have connected to your PC, like your mic, uh, external speakers, whatever. Some people have two mics. The second part is the virtual audio inputs, and this is exactly why I want with Potato, because it offers three of them. Now, this section, the master section, I've never played with it. I don't know exactly what it does, so I'm not going to tell you what you can do here. Sorry. And now let's do some label changing. So the first thing that we're gonna do is in the hardware input one, we're gonna change it to mic. 
and in the hardware input too, we're gonna change it to Spotify. This means that your mic will be picked up here. As you can see, this is moving. On the virtual audio input side, you're gonna change the first one to your streaming PC. Your alerts or anything that happens on your stream will be coming right here. The gaming will be capturing the game audio that will happen on your gaming PC and later on we'll be sending it out to your streaming PC so OBS can capture it. And the last one, we will have Discord, so change it to Discord. This part right here will capture Discord from your streaming PC. Another thing that we still need to do is to assign your game capture device. Go to A2, you find your game capture device. In my case, I have the HD60 S Elgato and you assign it. Then you go to the gaming part that we have right here and you turn on A2. This means that the game audio will be transmitted and captured in this section right here. Now moving to my streaming PC, it's almost the same thing that we did on my gaming PC. Um, you're gonna change your labels to mic, Spotify, streaming PC, gaming, and Discord. Now the next thing, we already have A1 assigned to our speakers. You're gonna need to assign your microphone since your microphone is directly connected to your streaming PC. In my case, I have A3 assigned to my microphone. Once you do that, you come to this section and you turn on A3 under mic. Now we're gonna have to connect our hardware inputs as well as our virtual audio inputs. So you go to your mic section and you choose your microphone in the hardware devices. Same thing with Spotify. If you remember in the beginning, we downloaded an extra virtual audio cable. So you go under Spotify and you choose cable output VB audio virtual cable. Now to test things out, you go to your sound settings and you scroll all the way down to advanced sound options. You find Spotify and you choose cable input VB audio virtual cable. Now, if you go back to your Spotify, you play anything and it'll be coming through here. Now, the last thing that you need to do in the Spotify section is to enable A4. And I'm gonna explain to you later why we enabled A4 here. Now, moving forward to Discord, you can see that Discord under it, we have VAIO3. So you open Discord, you go to your voice and audio. In the input device, you choose your mic. And in the output device, you go to voice mirror VAIO3. This means if you're chatting with someone in Discord, their audio will be coming directly here. And enable B3. Again, I'm gonna explain later why we chose B3 here. All right, so we've finished two parts so far. The first part was the installation and changing the window settings. The second part, we did some label changing and we turned on some switches, which again, I'm gonna go through in more detail in the third part, which is the one that I'm gonna do right now. So the third section is actually the most interesting one and the kind of easiest to understand. So the beauty of this part is as soon as you understand how to connect both PCs together, you can change your setup. We're gonna start by connecting the streaming to the gaming since we have all the applications on the streaming PC. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start sending some sounds to our gaming PC. The first thing that we're gonna send is our stream alerts. So anything that happens on our stream and we have this section dedicated for the streaming PC. So you go to VBAN and in the source, you choose bus B1. In the stream name, you write streaming PC. This needs to be identical to what you're sending. So if you have streaming PC here, this needs to have streaming PC. IP address to it. And this is something you're gonna have to find on the voice mirror that's on your gaming PC. So if you open that on the top part, you can see IP and a number next to it. So you take that number and you put it in the IP address too. That will be the IP address of the voice mirror on the gaming PC. So once you put that there, you click on on and you should see a green button here. Now, the next thing you need to do on your streaming PC, you go to, the, to this section right here and you click on B1 because this is the button that we are using, we have bus B1 here. That means we need to turn on B1 right here. Now we do the exact same thing with the rest. So I have my microphone right here. So Mike, I write in this stream name, Mike. Bus A3, I chose bus A3. That means I need to come to this section and enable A3 here. IP address too. Again, you can copy it from here. You're sending it to the uh, voice meter on the gaming PC. You click on on and you should see this in green. Discord, we're gonna send this part right here. I have it to bus B3. So I choose bus B3. I go to Discord, turn on bus B3, send it to the gaming PC. Same with Spotify. Remember Spotify, we assigned it to the cable output, which is the extra virtual uh, input cable that we downloaded. So I have bus A4. That means I need to enable A4 right here. I send it to the gaming, turn this on. You should see all four of them in green. So by that, you have sent 
all the audio that you need from your streaming PC to your gaming PC. Now we're gonna see how it looks on the gaming PC side. All right, so let's do things on our uh, voice meter on the gaming PC. So we go again to VBAN, we make sure that VBAN is on. And on the top part, we should see in the incoming streams that you have four streams detected just because we sent out four streams from the uh, streaming PC. I have them already filled out. What you can do is you can right click on the first field and it will give you all the streams that are incoming and you can go one by one. So the first one will be your streaming. You click on it. Second one, you go again, your mic, Discord, and then Spotify. Now, the important part is that we need to uh, set the destination as in where every stream is going to be captured this section right here destination you click so the virtual one two three represents these sections so one two three because this is the virtual audio input but the in one in two and all the way to five this is the physical hardware input this is one two three four five so in the streaming PC, if you're doing the same way that I'm doing it, I have in virtual one because this is the first section. So you come here, you click on virtual one, then your alert from your stream will be captured in this section right here. Now for you to hear them, remember we assigned A1 to our headset. So this means you need to turn on A1 here and you do the same thing with the rest. My mic is being captured in one physical. So that means I go here, choose one and it'll be right here. Same thing with Discord. I have it captured in virtual three. So this means this chord will come right here. And again, because I want to hear this chord, I click on A1. Spotify is captured in two and it's coming right here. And again, if I want to hear the music that I'm playing, I have to enable A1. And in the mic section, if you want to hear yourself talking, you enable A1 because again, A1 is connected to our headset. Now, the second thing that we need to do on the gaming PC, we're going to need to send out the audio from the gaming PC to the streaming PC. So in the second virtual audio input, I have a section dedicated for the game. And remember again that we have assigned our game capture card to A2. So this means I need to come to this section right here, click on A1 because I want to hear the game and click on A2 for this section to capture the audio from the gaming capture device. And you can see that under the gaming, it says voice meter AUX. Now with every game that you're going to play, you're going to have to go into audio settings of that game and change the audio output to voice meter AUX. Otherwise, the software won't capture the game audio. Now, the last thing that we need to do is just send out this stream to uh, our streaming PC. So we go to the outgoing stream streams bus a2 because a2 is the one that's capturing the audio we call it gaming because it needs to match and then we send it to the streaming pc and you click on now next we have to capture it on the streaming pc now for us to capture it on the streaming PC, we can see on the VBAN section for the voice meter on the streaming PC, it says incoming streams one detected. And this is the gaming stream that we sent from the uh, gaming PC. So we come here, right click gaming from, and it should put everything automatically. If it doesn't, then you just write gaming. You write the IP address of the gaming PC, you turn it on and you assign it. In my case, I have it assigned in the same place that I have it on the gaming PC, which is in virtual too and this is where it's gonna land and that's it congratulations now you know how to connect your dual pc setup it's very easy very simple again as soon as you understand the logic how voice meter works you can do things however you want so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure to drop a like leave a sub we're getting very close to that 1k club man i'm very excited very happy now if you're gonna have any questions or if you face any issues whatsoever with this process make sure to drop your question in the comments and i'm gonna try my best to help you if anything we you can always get into a Discord call, you can share your screen, and I'll be able to help you even more. Thanks for watching.